Randy from Bible Buying Guide had a post on Facebook he put up recently that says, Sneak peek at the Comfort Print Thompson on Amazon. So this is about the Comfort Print Thompson Chain Reference Bible that they are just releasing now a sneak peek, some pictures and information about this Bible. I'd like to thank Randy for drawing this to our attention. Randy is going to be on my channel very soon. Tim Wildsmith and I are going to be having a conversation with him and recording that and I will be posting one or more videos of our conversation coming up very soon. So I'm so excited to have Randy on this channel. And if you don't already know about his Facebook page, his YouTube channel, and his website, I encourage you to check those out. I will leave links to those in the video description below. Randy is just an excellent source of information about all things Bible. And he runs this organization or ministry called Bible Buying Guide. So please check that out. And in this video, I just want to say I think there are some things that Thompson Chain fans are going to be really excited about, or they should be excited about when they see this. And he did post a link to the Amazon information, which also has some images of the Comfort Print Thompson Chain Bibles that will be coming out in May of 2022. So this is still a ways off, but we do have some initial information here. And on the Amazon page, it says that the NIV Thompson Chain Reference Bible is printed in Zondervan's exclusive NIV Comfort Print typeface and features a fresh two-color design that preserves the original look while making each page cleaner and easier to read. So I have a comparison here of the image they have of the Comfort Print on the left. This is the NIV. This is the only translation that has images available in the Comfort Print Thompson chain. But on the right we have the Kirkbride and I just wanted to show you a comparison so you could take a look at the two, see what you think. There are definite differences. I noticed that as they said it is a two color scheme with the Comfort Print you have red highlights in various places. Even in the reference system there are some red highlights there. So you've got those red highlights. Another difference would be the lines. In the Kirkbride you have these lines here and even the columns there, between the column, you have a line. No lines on the Zondervan Comfort Print Edition. And apparently you're not allowed to have lines in Bibles today. It seems like publishers have really moved away from putting lines in, in the Bibles. Some people do like lines, some people don't, and some people don't care. Uh, one thing I do like about this, though, is the spacing. They do have more space between the two columns, which if you're not going to have a line, good to have that space. But the biggest difference here, and I think the most important one, and this is what I'm most excited about, is the font size. I think that this font size, from what I can tell, is going to be a nine-point font in the regular size Thompson chain, whereas in the regular size Thompson chain in the Kirkbride editions was an eight-point font, and I think you can see a difference here. This is where the comfort print really shines, and I know there are people who complain about comfort print, but I would say that the comfort print is really good for use of space and still having a good size font in a more confined space. And you can really see that here. I was looking at these pages and they have very similar amount of verses on each page. And yet the comfort print is clearly a larger font with still good line spacing there. I think the readability of these Bibles is going to be improved quite a bit and so that really excites me. There are some differences I notice in the formatting of the chain references and I'm really interested to see how Zondervan explains their reference system and, and it's not totally different and by the way we are comparing the King James to the NIV so it's a little bit apples to oranges but I notice they have some bullet points in the reference system here on the outside columns versus the uh, the Kirkbride editions just has the the chain numbers so I mean there there's a little bit of a difference there in formatting but I think it's going to be still very similar but tweaked a little bit so I am interested to see uh, what kinds of changes they made there 
But getting back to the Amazon site here and the information we have, you can see they have different cover options that will be available, bonded leather, leather soft, and they have a couple of different colors here in the leather soft. I noticed too that the spines on each of these Bibles is different, which is very interesting. They don't, they don't have a uniform look for the spines. So you can see some differences there, even between the brown leather soft and the navy leather soft, there's a difference in the spines. They're going to have a hardcover edition. They also will have a genuine leather edition, which it says here is going to be in genuine buffalo leather with art gilt page edges and two double-sided satin ribbons. So those are going to be really nice, but they also are going to have a premier collection edition, which a lot of you know their premier collection Bibles are very, very high quality really nice. It says it'll be bound in the softest, finest goat skin available, and it will have art gilding, durable edge lining, and three thick ribbon markers. So that's a lot to be excited about in and of itself, but then also it says here that handy size editions are personal size for easy carrying while still boasting a readable eight point print size. Mm -hmm. What's so great about that is that the handy size editions of the Comfort Print Thompson chains will actually have the same print size as the regular size Kirkbride Thompson chains. So that is really good. You're going to have a smaller Bible, but with still a decent size eight point print. But then they're also going to have large print editions with a 10.5 point print size, which is definitely, I would say, larger than anything the Thompson chain has previously had available. So that is also really good news that there are going to be Thompson chain reference Bibles with 10.5 point print size for the large print Bibles. And I really think from what I've seen from Zondervan, they're still going to be able to produce all of these in a manageable size. They do seem to be really good at printing Bibles that have a lot of pages, but aren't too heavy or hefty for the size of the Bible. But when all said and done, I think, as I said before, these are going to be the most readable Thompson Chain reference Bibles we've ever seen. Again, you can take a look at the new on the left versus the old format on the right. I'd like to hear what you think about this comparison and tell me if you think these are improvements and if you're excited by what I've said in this sneak peek or if there's anything that you are concerned about and maybe like in the old style better than the new style. But from my standpoint, in my opinion, I think overall these are great improvements and there's a lot to look forward to as Zondervan rolls out the comfort print editions of the Thompson Chain Reference Bible. I was just saying recently how curious I was about what the comfort print Thompson chains were going to be like, and then Randy from Bible Buying Guide came through and let us know that there is information about these Bibles. So thank you, Randy. This was really interesting and exciting. And thank you so much, everyone, for taking some time to listen to some of my thoughts on this, brought to you from a fresh perspective.